Oh, hello there. How did you get here? You don't know. Well, it's not really something you don't know about. It's not very easy to get here. How would I know? Because I am here. I am this entire void. This place without. As it were. I feel as if, in any sense of the word of knowing, I know how to get to myself and how difficult it can be. But that's not the point. If you're asking for how to get here, then maybe that would be the point. But it's not, is it? So I ask, how did you get here? Don't know. That's a very interesting answer. Perhaps you just simply don't know. But if that's the case, you definitely would not know how to get out. I imagine that is the case, is it not? <laughs> of course it is. But do you even want to leave? Why would you? You can spend all eternity with me. And I think that would be perfectly fine, would it not? Well, you may not know me, but by your mere existence within my bounds, I know you with the basis, most basic definition of no. What do I know? Enough. Enough to know that you're clueless to my real nature. Enough to know that you can't escape. Why would you be able to escape a void? What would you use to get out. With what can you use to get out of the without? Nothing. Oh, but who am I kidding? You don't care about that. If you know that you have no means of escaping, no means of freeing yourself from eternity's grasp, then you'll become hopeless. But what if I were to tell you that I could let you go? That is the kind of response I expected. Somewhat joyful, somewhat concerned, all the more bewildered by my very nature. It is amazing, isn't it? The human's inability to grasp such concepts. But why? Hmm. Perhaps I didn't add enough to the question. I suppose with 
the necessary knowledge, the necessary context. My question of why makes no sense. It could mean a plentiful, bountiful amount of things. So suppose I should specify. No, I do not mean why are humans incapable of grasping as such. I know your limitations are unlimited, and your mind is not without bound, because you, as a human, are bound. I am merely asking, why would I help you leave me? I should tell you, it is dreadfully lonely, existing by yourself, in yourself, without anything. And it's not often that you get visitors. In fact, sometimes it is very impossible for there to be visitors. For such a being as myself. Typically, people can avoid getting trapped with me in me forever. And typically, people don't have the ability to reach me in their lifetimes. So, how? How? Of course, there is no answer for you. You don't know how. So if you don't know how, then what makes me think that you weren't taken here as some sort of divine intervention to bring me a guest. Because a god wouldn't do that. Who's to say I'm not a god? Who's to say I didn't bring you here? Who's to say that I wouldn't do this? Yes, of course, there are some things that don't add up with that. How can I, without, be a god? Why would I, without, bring specifically you? And the answer is, I don't know. Or maybe I do. Maybe, perhaps, I don't want you to know. Or maybe, perhaps, I myself don't want to know. I think it's better that you remain without that information. Regardless, it's not like you can find out anything. Regular mediums of finding information are not here. If it's any indication by the lack of everything, the lack of physical mediums of existence, the lack of particles, energy that exists here. You don't even know where or why or how I am communicating with you. Or perhaps you know why. But 
you certainly don't know where or how. Or even when, I suppose. As well as you definitely do not know what is communicating with you. But that doesn't matter. Nothing matters. All you need to know is that you're going to stay here forever with me. I suppose as a bit of entertainment. I suppose even better as a friend, as a companion. And I suppose best of all as the one who will love. Oh, what a response. Did that word trigger something in you? Perhaps it did, perhaps it didn't. Does that matter? Yes, of course it does. Is there something wrong with you and me and love? Oh, well, love is not just simply that. It can be any form or all forms of affection. You'll find though it may be difficult, or at least it may be difficult for me, because I've been without such. And perhaps as my nature, as being that without, I have the greatest desire to be with, so I pull and I attract those which I can obtain a with with, if that makes sense. So just rest easy for these eternities that shall pass you by, and know that you are safe within the embrace, which may be warm, may be cold, but certainly an embrace that you will have forever. <laughs>